It's a rechargeable battery that can store energy for peak demand times. Known as the vanadium flow battery, it converts chemical energy into electrical energy by pumping electrolyte fluid through reactor cells. Developed by Maria Skylas Kazakis, it has the lowest ecological footprint of any energy storage system because it doesn't use toxic heavy metals such as lead or cadmium. And unlike lead-based acid batteries, the fluid in a vanadium battery is reusable and has an indefinite lifespan. VFBs can repeatedly absorb and release huge amounts of electricity at the drop of a hat, thereby helping power stations cope with peak energy demand. They can make renewable energies more reliable too, by storing and supplying energy for times when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. More than 20 VFB systems have been installed globally to store wind and solar energy for peak energy load levelling and emergency backup power systems. The Australian company VFuel is commercialising VFB technology. It's part of a group recently awarded a US energy grant to install a VFB in Painesville, Ohio to store energy for the city's coal-fired power plant.